Hi, and welcome back to Chef Hacker Kitchen. Today, we're gonna hack an Italian restaurant classic to add fiber, protein, flavor, and texture. And the best part is it can be done as a pantry rescue. This is gonna be linguine and white cannellini clam sauce. All right, here's our ingredients. Now, by the way, if you would like to make this recipe, but you don't really want to listen to me talk for the next uh, five or 10 minutes, you can go ahead and head over to the website. That's chefhackerkitchen.com and search for linguine with cannellini white clam sauce. And you can go ahead and print out the recipe and, and get going with making this dish. Now, I said this is a pantry rescue. Uh, which means you could pretty much make it on a, a few minutes notice just with ingredients of a well-stocked pa uh, pantry. So let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so we have about a pound of linguine. We have a small can of chopped clams, a can of baby clams that are whole clams. We have about uh, two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. We have a half a cup of onion. We have about a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons of coarsely chopped garlic. We have some Italian seasoning, which I make by combining parsley, uh, basil, oregano, rosemary, and pepper, or you can buy a pre-made mix. Um, we have some thyme. That's about, oh, I'd say that's probably a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme and a bay leaf. And since I happen to have some fresh, um, Parsley, I went ahead and chopped that up and I'm going to add that uh, into it. Now, those are the ingredients you'd normally see um, if you're going to make um, a linguine and white clam sauce. So for the hack, we're adding cannellini beans. Um, we're going to add a half a cup of um, chopped celery and we're going to add about two tablespoons of lemon juice. That's going to add flavor, protein, fiber, and texture to this dish, and that's our hack. Let's get cooking. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our pasta water going, because this is a pretty quick recipe. So we don't wanna wait, we wanna get our water ready to cook our pasta. All right, so let's get started. Put our olive oil into the uh, saucepan. We add our garlic. As soon as we get that sizzle and get the garlic aroma, now we're going to add our onion and our celery. And we're going to go ahead and lower the heat. We just want to fry these a little bit. Turn the heat up a little. We don't want them to burn. Okay. That is sizzling pretty good now. So we'll let it go for another minute. And we'll add our seasoning. All right, so we see that the onion is starting to turn translucent, which means it is time for the seasoning. So we'll add our Italian seasoning, our fresh parsley, kind of a bonus in this dish. Thyme, which is a spice I enjoy with seafoods and the bay leaf in honor of my grandma who pretty much seemed to put bay leaf in everything. That's hazel root unizzi. And now I lower this and cover it and let the seasoning um, expand inside the, the oil and the vegetables. And that's probably uh, long enough. Okay. Yes, and this has a really 
Mediterranean kind of a kind of a smell. I mean, I can smell the coast and the heat and the warmth of an Italian meal already. Now, I'm going to take some of the juice from the clams. Um, I kind of hold my finger on the lid. Of course, I've opened this can and I let most of the juice drain and then set the clams aside. I want to be able to cook the vegetables in this broth, but if I were to put the clams in right now and uh, uh, by the time the vegetable cooks, the cook the clams would be kind of hard and rubbery. So turn the heat up, give it a stir. And I want to bring this to a simmer. Okay. Okay, so this has come back to a boil. And um, it only takes about, um, I don't know, maybe about uh, five to seven minutes to cook the vegetables uh, to be al dente, which is about how I like them for this dish. So we'll give it another couple of minutes and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, looking pretty good. So now I'm going to test, taste this for um, seasoning, salt and pepper primarily. And here's how we have always done it in the restaurant. You say, well, wait a minute now, you don't want to keep, and I see TV shows and things where people keep dipping the spoon and tasting it. And I just, you know, putting it in their mouth, and I just don't like that. Here's how we used to do it in the restaurants. Um, we take a spoon. Well, I have to admit, sometimes we just dip our finger in and do it. But here's the way we uh, did it uh, at culinary, and I often did it in restaurants. You take a, you take a big spoon, the one you're going to stir with. You pour it into the little spoon, and you taste the little spoon. And then you could set that spoon aside, never returning that in. And I can see that this needs a little bit more salt. So I'm going to add that right now. The um, seasoning and the um, pepper. Uh, I mean the uh, garlic and pepper and the rest of it seems fine. But it does need a little bit of salt. So I added that. And now I'll go ahead and put in my clams. The whole baby clams and the larger chopped clams. I'm going to put a little water in here. Make sure we get all those clams out. Okay. Now I'm going to add my beans. And I left a little bit of the liquid um, that that comes with the canned beans or even if you make your own a little bit of that liquid because it'll tend to thicken um, the sauce. Uh, that's a way around having to do what is typically done with linguine and clam sauce which is while you're cooking the pasta you siphon off a little bit of the starchy liquid from the pasta and put that in to thicken. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and now I'm going to return this to a boil. The sauce has come back to a boil. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and lower it. Um, let it maintain a simmer. And it'll only take about five minutes for this to be completely cooked. And you can see it has kind of thickened a little bit. That's from the beans. I mean, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and mash a few of these beans. Uh, pull them out and mash them with a potato masher or even against the side of the pot and that would thicken it up a little bit further and that's what's going to give it that nice consistency. Uh, cannellini beans and clams are a great combination um, and the, uh, the uh, onion and the garlic and the celery just gives it a great kind of a kind of a flavor. All right so let's let that simmer in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and cook our pasta. Okay. All right.
Yeah, we're simmering nicely. Okay, we've been simmering for about five or six minutes. And yeah, this is about the way I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and add the last hack ingredient, which is about, I don't know, two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. And that's going to give it a nice, bright flavor. I'll mix it in well, let it come back to a boil, and then turn it off. And it will be ready to serve as soon as the pasta is complete. Okay, so it's back to a boil. I'm going to cover it and turn it off. Now I'll finish the pasta. I'll go ahead and plate it out and I'll see you guys on the other side. Let's try this. Oh yeah, pasta is ready. Let's carry it over. To plate this out, we take a bit of pasta. And our sauce. Make sure to get the liquid. That broth is so good. And then I like to top it with a little bit of red pepper and a parsley leaf. All right. Linguini with white cannellini clam sauce. Give this one a try. I think you're going to really like it. And if you like this video, please go ahead and like the video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps us make additional videos. See you next time in Chef Hacker Kitchen.